Since 1994, say fast and more, our reliable name, MixCat.com. Hey guys, keep a MixCat. Uh, today I'm going to put together from scratch a solar panel. I have a piece of tempered glass here. You want to be very careful with tempered glass. I had an accident with one of these yesterday. Uh, turn into popcorn on me and that definitely turns into a big mess, so be careful. Um, what I'm going to do with this is just going to make sure the inside where the actual cells are going to go into is very clean. I got a straight razor so I can go through and actually clean up the glass here. I'm going to spray it with some spray cleaner like a Windex. Just go over it real good. What I have is some of the uh, solar cells that I tabbed over the past couple nights after work. Um, this will be enough to make the whole cell here. And I'll show you how it kind of stacks, um, also the tracking that I use on it, and just give you kind of the, the blow by blow. I'm going to make sure it's clean because uh, once it's encapsulated, you're not going to be able to get to the sun. Every little bit of dirt could block sun, and we want to make sure it's nice and clear. This is a used piece of glass. I put an ad on Craigslist and had a nice couple get back with me that had a whole bunch of uh, glass and they were moving. And I got a lot of glass for not much money. Can't beat that. Definitely get to know your neighbors. Craigslist is a great way to do that. That way you don't end up paying retail when you don't have to. Everything's said and done. Uh, this solar panel, which will probably put out uh, 60 watts, I'm thinking, is going to be under $100. And if you look on eBay, that's a really good deal. Alright, I think we look good here. these cells. And I'm just going to kind of do these on the back side just to line up, make sure I kind of got these even. I'm a perfectionist, but we want it to look halfway decent. There we are. We have a little bit of a gap for the C channel. Good. And remember, uh, the tabbing goes on the front side, back side, front side, back side. So basically, you're hooking these guys up in series. That way, you bump up the voltage, and you always want to have more voltage or higher voltage than your batteries. That way, um, it charges them. So 12 volt battery, you're going to want to put anywhere from 16 to 20 volt into it. Um, that way it, the voltage flows into the battery and, and charges them. Alright, I think that's probably good to start. My soldering iron is on this side. I guess you guys really can't see that too well. but right. Clean the tip up. I got my flux over here, just regular jar flux like a plumber would use. I know not the best stuff in the world for this, but hey, it's what I got. Some solder, and you just touch it down to the white, little dot. That easy. And don't worry if it slides around at this point, because uh, we didn't mount them down yet. All right. right now we're just kind of making some hairs here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see. So we just kind of line this up and we're holding it down with the, the tabbing wheel here. Just something, not too much weight, just enough to hold it down. And we pull across. Real, real simple. Remember, they're very brittle, so you don't want to put too much pressure on them. Hope I'm not in your way for 
I'm seeing. That's the process. We're just going to keep on tabbing all the way down, and you can see I did this in real time, and it's it's going to be a pretty quick thing. That what took the time is actually tabbing them originally, so that's where your time spent. But I will show that probably in another video. I made a couple improvements on how I was doing it last time. Instead of um, soldering the front of it. Um, I dip the the tabbing wire in flux, just basically run it through the flux real quick and uh, line it up on the tab, on the, the, uh, the panel, heat it up and it flows on there pretty good. Um, when I touch it, I hit it with just, put a little dot of solder on the end of the soldering iron, that way it's nice and liquidy and pull across. Oh, there we are. Alright, there's the first set. Couple more here. All the way down. Again, okay, hooking all these into series. Series rather. Right. And if anyone needs any tips on getting some cheap uh, cells, solar cells, I got a good source. Very reasonable. Um, and I've been picking up a lot because I'm actually going to use these panels abroad to do my uh, well project. That way we can have uh, water wells in other countries where they actually, there's a need for water. Uh, it'll power the well. And sending down a little brick size box where they can actually assemble it on site is definitely a nice cheap way to help people in uh, need or countries rather that's in need and I think this will probably be our saving grace Here we are. and if it overlaps a little bit really simple um, let's see I don't have enough yeah I'll use this just kind of bend it up, fold it back on itself. If uh, you didn't cut it exactly to size, give it a little dot of solder and pull it on. And she won't go anywhere. There we go. That way you don't have to worry about shorts. periodically make sure you clean your, your tip on the soldering iron. Makes life easy. And as you can see I'm kind of leaving a little bit of a gap on each of these guys. Just uh, I don't have to worry about any kind of shorts. Um, I'm also going to do bus wire on that side real soon. I'll show you kind of how that hooks up.
Yeah, if you've got the time to do this, actually tab it yourself and solder it yourself. It does take some time, but man, you save some money and definitely I, I, I enjoyed the experience. I've been soldering for quite some time. Solder pretty much every day at work. It's as you can see, this is really not rocket science at all. It all solders pretty easily. Since 1994, save fast and more. Our reliable name, mixcat.com.